The next thing I want to do is I want to convert this guy into something that's a bit more nice than the basic input set that we have right here. So let's try and see what we have in material that can maybe make some kind of input field that we would like. So there's an input right here. Maybe there's something in examples we can use. Oh, I like this one. There might be like a send button like this. And then you can put in the text right there. Let's try and go and check out the code. Let's jump into the HTML. Here's a form field a mat label. At least I can see right here that we're going to need some imports. But let's just try and do that. Let's copy this code and try and put it into our code and see what we need. So I'm going to paste this in here. It seems again, I need a form field. And again, I'll alt enter right here, or option enter on the Mac, and I'll import an angular module. And it seems it needs this form field module, I'll just click that and notice it just imported it right here, just like we did with the card module. Let's go back. I also need to import a mat input. I'll import that one. Now if you get this one, if you forget it, it will actually compile, but you'll get some weird errors. So so try and remember to get that one in there. And also now you can see the mat input module. Let's try and see what else is here the icon, I need to import that. Good. Now we have the icon module available as well. And I think that's it. Do we need the form field? No, that's already available. Sweet. Let's get rid of this ng module, we don't need the ng model in our setup. Instead, what we have is we have a form control. So let's move that up. There we go. Now we have that in place. So let's just get rid of this label, we don't need this anymore. And then we need to kind of our button right here, it has an ngf, we don't want that either right now. It has a mat suffix, that's something to kind of made it end up like we saw in the drawing right here, we wanted to end up after right here after the input field. So we'll just add that. And then let's see what else we got, we need a click. And right now they're using a click event over here, we just have another click event. So let's just move that up. There we go. And then actually, the final thing we need is to figure out an icon instead of the close icon. But let's just see if this runs right now. And then we'll get back to that icon. So that's the form field instead. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that looks nice. But we don't want the clear right here. And we don't want it to say clearable input. Let's start by getting rid of clearable input. We're just going to put in message instead like this. And again, it's a very simple label that just kind of displays to the user that this is where you can put your message, right? And it's got this beautiful animation effect. So it moves up to the top. Okay, we also need to figure out the icon because I don't want the close icon. So let's change that into some kind of send icon. Now it's actually there is actually a send icon. So let's just try and do send like this. And notice <laughs> that was easy. But how did I know that there was a send icon? Well, you can actually go into um, material right here, go into icons, and we have to kind of find the API and there's a materials icon fonts right here. We'll go into that one. Now there's a lot of information here still. Let's just keep going. Here it is material icon library. When I click that one, that's actually where I can see all the material icons. Now you could also use a uh, fund awesome if you wanted to. But here's all the icons available in the material design setup right here. So you can just start looking for instance, I was looking for something to send. So let's just go send. And there we have some send icons, right? And here's the one we used. So we just have to put in the name. So let's just try and put in the mail, just to show you um, back in the code right here. If we write mail right here, you'll see that now the mail icon will actually pop up down here. So let's just get that back to the send icon again, let's just do send right here. There's one more thing I want to show you. If you don't want them to be right now, these are filled, if you want them to be like outlined, there's actually also a way to do that. What I'll do is I'll go into the material design setup of icons again, we're in the send. And notice right here, you can do outline, you can do rounded, you can do two tone, but I'll do the outline right now just to show you. So it will look something like this. It's a bit more tricky, you have to do a few things to get to this, but let's just try and do it. Again, let's go back right now, it looks like this, it's filled, right? We want it to look like this. So there's like blank space in here. So that's what we're going to try and do. I'll jump into the code again. Now the first thing I need to do is actually go into my index HTML file, because I need to explain that I also want to have the material icons. So I'll do material icon, plus icon right here, plus, and then you have to do outlined right here. Now I know this is kind of hard coded, you can find plenty of documentation on how to do this. So you just Google it. So with that in place, we have to do one more thing. And that's to go into the chat component. And in the icon right here, we have to explain that the font set is actually going to be material I icons outlined. Let's just try and save that. And now it should actually change to this small send button with the small space in there, right? So now it's outlined. It's maybe it's easier to see with the email, let's just try and go to the email one email, there we go and see how that looks. Now we can see it's it's empty inside. And again, if we go up here, you'll see this is the outlined email and this is the filled email, I feel that this is not grabbing full space. 
So let's just try and add an FX flex right here to kind of explain that we want this guy to grab all the space available. We'll just try and do an FX flex and see if that's enough. Let's just try and see. There we go. Now we have the full space. It's starting to look like something we like. Just a few more tweaks and we're done. First of all, I want this to be send again. I don't want it to be email and I want this to say nickname, enter nickname, not actually message because yeah, well, of course, that's what we're going to enter, right? Let's try and see. There we go. Now let's see if it still works. I'll put in John. And if that's the case, we're done for this lesson. Now you know how to make a card and how to kind of lay it out in the center. It looks kind of good. I like it. I'm satisfied. It's almost like this, just with a bit more darkness inside it. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Bye.